but I still don't really know what to talk about. But I know that being at this church has been a blessing to me. Um, I met so many different kids because I love kids. Uh, I'm not a person that would like hang around with adults, but I love to hang around with kids exploring their different personalities and just having fun learning with them, learning along with them. And I loved about First Press, it gave, it gave me a chance to just be with the kids and help out with the kids. learned that a lot of the kids that I work with have kids of their own now. <laughs> uh, I get to see some of them every now and then because uh, they ask me, do you remember kids' names? I remember some of them names because they were so active in the class. <laughs> and the first group I had um, I think it started right before the changeover, where they do the changeover for the age thing. And I had the Montague twin, Barry and Rebecca. Uh, and from then, so many other kids. <laughs> and Dr. Daly kids, I remember them. And I remember Susan Osteen kids, and a lot of other kids. Isaac Cook kids, um, they were active, and Miss Hilton's kids, ah, uh, there was something. And then um, Dr. Daly's uh, daughter, I was it his son, one of the two, took their first step at, at the classroom, and it, it, it's, it's just so exciting to see a child take their first step. And I have watched so many of them do that. <laughs> and to have so much fun and the joy that they give out. Because um, a lot of parents ask me, why do I do this? I love being with kids. I love the idea and the joy that they bring. And it's just so much fun to do that. <laughs> I mean, we get to do... Like, people say we can't do artwork for little kids. My kids always did artwork. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm supposed to, when I came to work here, I was supposed to just watch the kids. And to me, that was a long time just to watch somebody and wait. To me, that was boring, so I started doing activities with them. I realized that they're very good at it little things that you let them do. Um, you have to learn, you learn to how much paint you can allow them to have, uh, how much juice, and you try to, like they make projects for their parents and stuff. You want their, um, parents love seeing their kids work. I said, I know I can do it, but the parents don't want my work. They want to see what their kid can do. And I have a lot of kids that their parents say, oh, my kid did this? Yes. I said, because when you let kids color and play with clams or play with paint, I mean, it's fun. As long as you have all the stuff that you need by you or close where you can get. To, because most of the time, you're working by yourself and have the kids help you because it's a lot to do because when I first started I think I had about 30 or 40 kids and it was just me <laughs> but it was chaos and fun <laughs> and then later the parents help out and some of the teenagers help out sometimes like the teenagers that they don't want to go to church and they figure they can sit in my classroom and play around no, you become helpers. <laughs> you become helpers, and I said because I said you're not really missing church because they made it where we had a TV where we can watch the service too, and so you're not missing 
they're not missing anything. But to me, I like, you know, I don't, I did not like kids to roam around in the hall and stuff when you should have been in church or in one of the classrooms that they have. And if I end up happen to see you out there, you're in my classroom because I know your parents will be worried about you, wondering where you are, what you're doing. As long as you were with me and helping me, I was fine. <laughs> that way I could keep an eye on teenage kids and, and little kids at the same time with help. But I really enjoy my time um, at First Press. I have made it. Um, the changing of teachers, the changes of pastors, um, always having different kids come in. Um, some kids that don't speak English, or some kids with a little handicap, but it's only for a little while. But it was fun, um, because I had one parent that had her child. She, she was blind, and then she was in a wheelchair. And I asked her mom, can I, was I, was it okay if I let her be on the floor? <coughs> where she can move around and stuff. And she said yes, because at home, that she always moves stuff. And I told her that that's not helping her. When you move stuff around because you already got used to where it was, and then you moved it because you think child going to uh, bump into it. And then you have the ones that your kids are all under the table and button their head. I said, well, you have to let them do that the way they can learn that if you pull your head up, it's going to hit something. <laughs> so I had so much fun. I just don't know what y'all really would like for me to say. I mean, I enjoyed what I did. And if I can still do it, I would. <laughs> but I could not guarantee anybody that I would be 